Welcome to Bat Ranch. I'm Dr. Matt, and we have a happy little puppy here. And at first glance, he might look pretty normal, but coming closer, you can see he is totally blind. He does have little bitty holes here, but I can't open them. Um, they're really tiny. I think what he has is microphthalmia, meaning his eyes from birth were just really tiny um, and just never formed right. So he's totally blind and he's probably around five months old, four months old maybe. So he's been like this his entire life and he's adjusted pretty well to being blind. He's never been able to see, so it's never been an issue for him. We don't know his entire history. He was just found wandering the streets. So I don't know if someone got tired of him and threw him out or if he wandered out um, because he didn't know where he was and just wandered away from home. But he is otherwise a 100% healthy dog. The people who found him cleaned him up. They shaved all of his matted hair off and gave him a good bath. So he's actually one of the cleanest looking dogs that we get, we've get. we had on this channel. But he's he doesn't know he's, he's injured or, or has an ailment at all. He's just a happy little puppy. We are going to give him a rabies vaccine because he's had his other vaccines but he hasn't had a rabies vaccine yet and I'm going to deworm him. And then in a couple days, I'm going to do a surgery to go in and remove any eye structures that are in his mouth. His mouth. This is what I do when I'm doing multiple things at once. <laughs> remove any eye structures that are still there and I'm gonna to totally suture those eyes closed because they still kind of drain a little bit. There are secretions from the normal eyes, uh, the normal eye uh, structures that are secreting things and just kind of causing infections and stuff. So we're going to basically just close those holes, remove all the eye contents that are in there um, so he won't have any infections or anything like that. But until then, he's just going to hang out with us for the next couple of days until we have time for that surgery. But he is a good little puppy. His name is Harvey, by the way. It is the day of surgery and I actually had a bit of a change of heart. When we first got him, he had just come from a groomer and he didn't have a bunch of discharge from his eyes or anything so I figured that they had probably cleaned it all but we've had him for two days now and there's no discharge from his eyes so I called the shelter he was at they've had him for a couple weeks and they hadn't seen any infections either another vet had just recommended getting his eyes removed so they thought that's what he needed um, so I've decided since he's doing so good these things don't seem to be bothering him at all um, we're just gonna leave his eyes and um, you know they're not functional but they're not causing a problem so why put him through a surgery if he doesn't need it so basically today all we're gonna do is neuter him we are about to do the neuter unfortunately I can't show you guys the graphic stuff anymore just kidding come on in here unless you're a guy and don't want to watch me uh, neuter a pup girls will probably love this stuff basically I make a little incision right in front of his scrotum and I We'll take the two testicles out of one hole right there. So there's our first testicle. Uh, pull it out, tie it off, and then cut it. Vessels bringing blood and vessels that take the sperm. That was one side. There's his right testicle. All right, he will never have any puppies, which is a good thing because the reason we have all these dogs that um, have all these injuries and are homeless is because there are too many dogs having puppies and not enough people to take them into their homes. So we have a big overpopulation I issue in my area. I normally watch the beginning and just fast forward to the end and watch the dog running around all <laughs> I miss Max already. He was so cute. He was a good little dog. What's going on? Okay, um, is it the girl? Yes. Tell her I talked to her dad. It was a pyometra. Um, cat's doing great, awake. We took it out. It should do fine. And uh, if she needs me to call her back, I can call her after surgery. Tell me what it was called again. Pyometra. It was what we thought it probably was. Okay. So now I have the subcutaneous tissue sutured up. I'm just suturing up the skin now. And I'm going to bury these sutures so there won't be anything sticking out. Yeah. And uh, these will just dissolve. We are all done, going to wake him up now. We also saw that he had tapeworms this morning um, in his stool, had a bunch of tapeworms, so we gave him a little dewormer to take care of that. He got his rabies vaccine yesterday, he got his new rabies tag, so he's all official now, and we'll probably keep him here for a few days, let him heal up, and then we'll send him on to be adopted, because he is a very lovable pup and should have no trouble getting a home.
It's been a few days since Harvey's neuter, and he is a really funny little dog um, and gets around great for a dog who cannot see. He uses his ears and nose better than any dog I've ever seen. We got a note from a little girl named Carly. She said, Dr. Matt, my name is Carly. I am five years old. I love that ranch. I want to help you and help animals too. Love, Carly. And she didn't draw a picture, but she wrote a nice note. And her mom also wrote a note. Her mom's note says, um, basically that Carly loves Bat Ranch. She wants to meet us and help us. And she even told her little brother, who is three, that she was going to neuter him. So I thought that deserved a special spot in our video. It's really funny how this little guy uses his ears and his nose to figure out where people are, um, because he can't see us. But if I wander away from him, you'll see him kind of trying to look for me and he waits till he hears you walk and then he, he hones in on you. I'm hiding from him, we'll see if he finds me. Ah, you found me, good job, good job. He has been vaccinated, he's been dewormed, he's been neutered, good boy. So he is all ready to go and hopefully find his forever home soon and have the best possible life that he can. As you can see, he has no clue that he's any different than any other dog. Also wanted to say that the band Ruth, who sings the song um, Rosadier that we play in the end of a lot of our videos, they like that we use that song. Um, they really support our, our mission here. And so they wanted to kind of give back and they are going to donate all the money that that song brings them over the month of February, they want to give it all to Vet Ranch. So I think it's uh, 99 cents. So go get that song. It's a really great song. And it supports Vet Ranch for the month of February. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't